Hello, stock traders. Boy, last week was really, really tough, but we have a new week. Let's see how we can finish this typically very bearish month of September out and see if we can get some good data or something good happen within the market. Maybe we could see one of the strikes ending that are all over the country going on right now. Whether you're a screenwriter or whether you're in Hollywood and you're an actor or actress or whether you're an auto worker right now, we could sure use some good news. It'll be interesting to see how this week plays out. There are definitely some really good deals out there starting to become kind of glaring, especially in my opinion, in the real estate market. Now you might be thinking, well, real estate is beaten up for a reason, Ray. We have we have worse prices going on out there. We're having deflation on the real estate market. Well, some of these real estate stocks I'm going to be watching, they have high yields. And this week, they're going to be heavy on my radar. Personally, I like to load up stocks when everyone is panicking. I like to get a good deal. I'm kind of cheap and I look for good deals on the market. Today, we're going to talk about some of those opportunities. I'm also going to talk about the indices and where we're at going into Monday morning, what you can expect, different support and resistance levels. But before we get going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. All right, let's get into it. Let's start talking about a couple of these stocks and different things that are going on seeing what you think of course we start with the s p 500 spy etf and we got some major buy signals here which has been really nice some demark buy signals some really really cold readings now we held up at least at the end of friday above this level at 4 30. why is that so significant because when you go here and you take a look at the weekly chart and you look left. Let's go down and up on this. Excuse me a second here. Sorry, it takes a second for this to load. But as you look left on this, you can see that this is a very important level. You can see this was resistance before. This was a level that we broke through. Each one of these candles is one week. And so you can see how it has been. It was important here. When we got up here, that's where the rejection happened. And then when we broke through it again, we're coming back down and testing that again as support. So I like that very much. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out this week. But typically when you hit a major level of support like that, you get a bounce in the markets, at least in the S&P 500 coming down here. That's going to be something to watch for this next week. But as you are going into tomorrow, in my opinion, 436 is resistance. And we are right at critical support at 430 because of those weekly charts. So that's something to keep in mind as we get going. All right, let's take a look at the triple Qs again. More buy signals. Look at all these buy signals here. These DeMarc indicators are suggesting that we could be close to a bottom. In the triple Qs, we could come down here and touch this 355, but I would call 355 very significant support. And the reason being is because we used that level as support before and we got a big bounce coming off of it. That again could be the case looking here at this and so this is something that you want to keep in mind when you're looking at it this next week this is another stock to pay attention to the russell well the russell is getting creamed an important level on the russell is 176 as support with 180 as resistance and then we have what's happening with the vix Surprisingly enough, we aren't even over the average price on the VIX. It feels like the VIX should just really be going absolutely nuts, which it has had some days, some really big pop days, especially with the Fed comments and how the market reacted to those. And uh, But anyway, this is something to watch. If we should see the VIX spike, then I think we could be looking at possibly lower prices and maybe get out of this bull trend 
that we've been in and we've been in this bull trend all in 2023. But breaking that significant level of support would be very, very bad news, especially for the S&P 500 SPY ETF. Something to watch as we get going. Now, I was talking about some different stocks that, in my opinion, are getting really, really cheap. I want to go to the weekly chart and show you some of these. Uh, some of these stocks that are kind of crazy. Some of these um, different ones. First of all, let's take a look at GBTC. This is an OTC that follows the price of Bitcoin. And actually, this really isn't a very good value part at the moment. I mean, we've actually risen quite a lot from these different buy signals that we've had in the past. So it feels like it should be a better buy. And you would think that, oh, you're thinking it's such a great buy right now. In my opinion, Bitcoin is really not. And a lot of this movement here has happened because of the ruling that could come from the SEC or that it that hit the SEC with the SEC trying to keep GBTC, quote unquote. Um, they didn't like how much fees they charged. They didn't think it was fair, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's approve a Bitcoin ETF so that we can get something that's fair. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's one stock to take a look at. Uh, here's another one, and this is Main Street Capital. Uh, this is one that, uh, golly, come on. This is a stock here that um, is not a good value, so I don't know why I thought it was one. Leggett and Platt. This is part of the Dividend Aristocrats, and this is a this is a great dividend payer if you are looking for income and you like an income stock out there. Um, this is one to pay attention to in my opinion, as a long-term investment. This is a wonderful buying opportunity. This stock at $24 is really, really unfair. This is a stock that pays about a 7% yield and dividend yield. And so this is a great looking stock. I may be looking into getting some shares of this long-term. Another one I kind of want to take a look at is GIM, ticker symbol GIM. This is the Templeton Global Income Fund. And I like uh, these values that are on this. I think this is a really good deal. This is a very high yield uh, stock to get into with very low fees. Uh, I think that this is a great one to have and one that I'm gonna be looking at. Another is pets. Part of the dividend challengers. And so they have raised their dividend over the last 12 years. And this stock has uh, been very, very, very beaten up. Uh, this is crazy that it's even at 11 bucks. This thing has gotten just way, way too cheap. This is a stock that has raised their dividend over and over and over again. Again, another really good deal. Um, Next point, real estate finance. This is another one that I've liked in the past. I'm currently not in the stock, but we are getting to better prices as some of these real estate stocks are getting beat up because a lot of people are becoming very bearish about real estate. So just some different ideas, you know, some different long-term ideas. If you're looking for long-term, something you can buy. And when you see these weekly buy signals, uh, this is a great time to purchase some of these types of stock. I've, I've done this in the past. I don't really look at them. This is just in the background of my portfolio. I'm earning some dividends on that. I typically do not reinvest my dividends because I don't want to run into wash sales and so on and so forth. I will sell these stocks when they get to be at overbought levels. So you watch the RSI on the weekly chart and if it's overbought, you know, that's a simple way. If you don't have DeMarc indicators, that's a great way to watch and to trade these over a long period of time. I wish you all the best in the stock market. Good luck out there this next week. Let's hope for some good news. I would love to see something positive come out of the market. You know, we still, whether you believe this or not, are in a bull trend on the S&P 500. You may not believe me. You may think I'm crazy. Small caps are definitely not in a bull trend. But the S&P 500 stocks, the mega cap stocks, the big stocks, those big companies out there are very much in a bull trend. Although they've had a pullback and they're starting to become a little bit better of a deal 
we shall see if investors gobble up those shares and we can move this market higher. Wish you all the best in the stock market. Reach out to me in the comment section down below in Raytoven.